you doing, everybody? Bones back here in the Alternative Energies Labs. Um, hey, on my last video, we were going over a cell that we got back from one of my testing uh, customers, I guess you can call them. And when we pulled it apart, I don't know if you remember, it was all muddy and pretty nasty looking. And the water that we pulled out of it was pea yellow. Pea yellow. Um, again, like I said, the the camera doesn't do it any justice, but this is really, really yellow. I mean, it kind of threw me off because it's not rusted. And, I mean, even after it's set for a while, it's still pea yellow. I told you I was going to send it out. I did. I had it tested. And it didn't surprise me what they came back in the report was... All of the chemical compounds that make up baking soda. Uh, but what did surprise me was the high levels of chlorine that they found. So I went back to my testing customer and had to ask them questions. They have been testing with me for about two years. Uh, not from the very beginning, but pretty close to the beginning. And... We've only been using KOH now for about a year. So what happened was prior to the transfer to KOH from baking soda, what I would do is I only wanted them to put a certain amount of baking soda in because obviously we were testing the levels of everything we were doing. I would pre-mix a gallon of this and then give it to them, and as the cell needed it, you added it. Because remember, with the baking soda, we needed to add baking soda every time we added water, unlike KOH. So, that said, being that the container said distilled water, he just assumed it was distilled water and added it in there, not realizing that the distilled water had baking soda already mixed in it. So... That kind of, I guess you could say, sabotaged the cell. Not that it was done intentionally, it was just done. Um, and I did get him to admit to me that there may have been a time or two that he added tap water. But he figured it wouldn't have mattered because it came from a well. But it came from a well from the community, not from a personal well. So a community well has to be chlorinated. Well, hence the chlorine, which is not well water, nor is it distilled water. Um, so that was good news. It, bad news that all the information that I got from the cell was useless. The good news was that's where all the mud came from, from the baking soda. And I believe because of the chlorine and all of the other chemicals that were in the water, that's why those plates got as chewed up as they've done. So I just wanted to clarify that information. That's the information that I've got. So I'm just kind of passing it on to you. So um, hopefully uh, we know better than to use baking soda. Um, remember, I use potassium hydroxide. But you can also use sodium hydroxide. Uh, potassium hydroxide is a little bit harder to get. Sodium hydroxide, however, is easy to get. All you need to do is go to your local Lowe's or Home Depot and get Liquid Drano. So it's Robic Liquid Drano. If you look at it, I don't know if it'll come out on the screen, but that right there. 100% sodium hydroxide. So that's what you want to use for your catalyst right there. You can get it at Lowe's. I don't know about the depot. Um, I've checked the depot here in Raleigh. They don't have it, but Lowe's has this. This is $6. So there you go. Um, that said, um, we'll continue to test with everything that we do. And... Um, not use baking soda, nor will we use tap water. Um, happy testing, everybody. Uh, keep up the good work. Look forward to seeing everybody's results. Uh, any comments or questions, please comment 
I love to see the comments on our page, questions on our page. Um, and do me a favor, if you're watching this video, first time you've been on our page, subscribe to our page. Um, makes it worthwhile for us to uh, see all these people subscribe to it and make comments and everything. So anyway, God bless. Thank you. And we'll see you on the next video.